What's up guys, in this video I want to show you a demonstration of Chromium OS. This is pretty much like an unofficial build of Chromium OS. So let's start with a tutorial and then I'll show you a demonstration of how well it works. All you need for this, uh, for you to do it on your computer is pretty much a USB flash drive. It could be 4 gig, I'm not sure what the limitation is, but it doesn't need to be really big. So this is my current setup, it kind of looks cool, so I included this in the video. Uh, having a dual monitor to edit a video is really useful, so I could do research on the left and have a monitor on the right. So this is the tutorial, uh, I'll have the link in the description to where you can get it. And in the website, it shows you all of the build of Chromium OS. Select the latest one and dot img to make sure that it's the image it's not the virtual disk image which would be useful if you were doing it on a virtual box so after it's downloaded you also need win32 disk image writer uh, that should take about a couple minutes to download and then after that you open the software and you hit write uh, you hit the you select the ISO where you uh, put your ISO go in the directory and then you can hit OK and this should take about 10 minutes it should take about 30 minutes to download because the server is pretty bad on that website and for doing this it should take about 10 minutes depending on your USB flash drive so after that you plug it into a laptop or a desktop and then uh, once the computer is turning on you have to hit the ESC button uh, you have to pretty much access the boot device option some some uh, computers let you select the boot device option right from there on some other laptops you actually have to go on the bios and change the boot device option or the boot device order and then you have to hit the usb device to be on the top which shouldn't take that long and it's very simple so after that uh, it should take about a minute or two for the chromium os to boot for the first time and after that the chromium os could turn on within a couple seconds so let's start talking about the performance of the Chromium OS and then let's actually talk about the compatibility. So it's really not going to work on every single laptop. Uh, I find that having an Intel processor is probably the best way because uh, Intel generally has better driver support on Linux and since, uh, since Chromium OS is using a distro of Linux, having an Intel processor is very useful. I really haven't found laptops that really work. The only laptop that really worked is the Compaq Pajero CQ60, which has the Intel Serion 900 processor with two gigs of RAM. All the other laptops, they all, they either have uh, uh, the network doesn't work or it just completely doesn't work. The graphics just freezes. But if it does work, the for performance is actually really amazing. This laptop, the laptop that I'm showing you the demonstration with, uh, is very old. Uh, I got it on 2009, I believe. The laptop is pretty six or six years old. And it was pretty much really slow. Uh, not because the processor was really bad. It's because the uh, laptop had a really crappy hard drive. I have replaced the hard drive, but I put it back because Windows 7 was not really doing that well with this laptop. So having an OS such as Chromium OS really helps this laptop. Web browsing is really amazing on this laptop. Before, I couldn't really, really web browse because uh, it would be really slow and the hard drive would be really slow and the OS would be almost unresponsive to a point where it's almost unuseful, uh, useless. So having a having Chromium OS really helps. So I ha usually have it connected to a monitor. The reason is this laptop, the connector, the power connector opens up really uh, easily because the, uh, I, I guess, after heavy use for six years, the laptop doesn't really have everything working that well. So I have it connected to a 1080p monitor. The problem with this monitor, or, or the problem with Chromium OS currently, is that I'm not able to have it output to 1080p. Instead, it's running at a resolution of 1024 by 768. I'm pretty sure I'm able to change the resolution if I do some tweaking inside the OS, but 
just by using the graphical user interface, I'm not able to change the resolution. I'm not really too worried about changing it because I feel like it's going to be less responsive if I have it uh, changed to 1080p because when I did have it to 1080p, uh, on Windows 7 especially, it wasn't really running that well. And web browsing on Chromium is, for this laptop, is amazing. Uh, I showed you the Octane score, which is a JavaScript benchmark, I believe, and it gets about 10,000, which is pretty close to a normal Chromebook, uh, the Haswell-based Chromebook. It's better than the uh, the newer Intel Baytrail-based Chromebook. So this runs very well on this specific laptop, like I said, with compatibility. It's not going to work really well with uh, a lot of laptops. I have tried it on several other laptops and all of them pretty much failed. Uh, the guy that I got this build from, uh, the website that I will, sh I will have a link in the description, he has a different special build for the uh, AMD APUs, the AMD processors, but if you have an Intel processor, the chance of it working well is very, uh, I mean, it's gonna work well because Linux has better driver support. I really recommend that you at least try it and see if it works. Currently, I actually took out the hard drive of the uh, of the laptop because it's not really necessary. The whole OS is running from the flash drive. So having no hard drive and nothing moving on the laptop except the fan, I guess, uh, it's very responsive. Everything is very fast. The computer is actually pretty quiet while I'm web browsing uh, versus Windows 7, which I will never have idle processing, at least something running on the background. And playing YouTube video is very smooth. Uh, granted, I can't really play HD videos, but it plays very well. After having tried this, I'm curious to see how well other Linux distribution would run on this laptop. I've already tried Lubuntu, and I'll also try other uh, distros of Linux to see if this laptop could be revived and re resurrected and can be used again. And I have also realized that 99% of the time, I don't really need a powerful computer. I need a laptop that's able to web browse really well. And that laptop running Chromium OS does that pretty well. So that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.